one else. We are in the game of TH versus Law Lai at Secret Valley. Will be the first one. And Rich's girlfriend looking surprisingly in a good mood. <laughs> yeah. It's of course 0-0. Zero, zero. And uh, we are... Sonic, what's going on? Rich, <laughs> <laughs> he seems upset. <laughs> totally. Totally. Yeah, he wanted Rich, uh, Rich to win. Uh, no, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Alright, we almost got it. Early game is starting and we of course have Demon Hunter versus Archmage on Secret Valley. It's not really like you can play the Warden. Maybe TH tried to ban the maps in such a way that the Warden was less of a possibility. Unfortunately, we don't know the, uh, the Vetoes. Anyways, it is Secret Valley right now. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> fairly standard so far. Oh, he's actually gonna try to go for the Peasant. This farm is later than it should be. And this is really annoying. It's, oh my god, it's so close. Yeah, he gets the farm, but he loses the Peasant. Apart from that, usual creep spark here. He Wait, killed. Did he get the experience or did he deny it? Yeah, he got it. He got it. And TH, of course, winning a group D, winning. It's the only player who hasn't lost a single map in this tournament. 2 0 yours. 2 0 focus. 2 0 hate, love, anger. Is it 2 0 versus Law Lyot as well, or will the master of the warden get a game from. Uh, the former world champion, the world champion of 2013, the guy who crushed the dream of Moon. But it's actually this is uh, this goes for both players actually. Law Light kicked Moon out. TH kicked Moon out of the WCG 2013, and now they are colliding. And we, or at least I, have been uh, talking about this matchup for the last I don't know three months because that's round about when Law Light was first showing up. Maybe two months with his uh, solo warden and then the, you know, solo hero, mass experience, mass levels uh, against the humans, which surprised all of us and was a treat to watch for all of us. And I was back then already saying, do the humans from China maybe have an answer? This is the wrong map to ask that question, but it's gonna continue. Immolation. Immolation! Against the early expansion attempt from the human player. Turning it on very, very early and not really getting anything out of it so far. But now here he is. The AoE, the 10 damage per second and running into a surround. Oh no! Right away, but he gets out of it again. Of course he's losing a lot of HP. But there is fountains of health on this map. So this harassment can be kept up for a long, long time. But for, for the moment it doesn't look too dangerous, honestly, for TH. No, level 2 for him, level 2 and 2 thirds for TH here. We will get the Ogre Magi, he will get everything, and the expansion seems to be pretty safe. But if he's too greedy now and doesn't go for the Arcane uh, arcane Tower, then it's definitely a possibility for the Demon Hunter to go ham in the expansion Peasant line. And here we see Huntress coming. And he's tier 1. Mm -hmm. Does he have a second Ancient of War? No. No. Uh, counter expansion? Because you, you, you don't stay on tier 1, Hantress, with one Ancient of War. Uh, interesting to see. L uses a lot of Moon Juice. I'm surprised he doesn't do it by uh, next to the... What is it called? The Fountain of Health, exactly. Uh, here He's we going go back in again. With he a has a lot of mana and yeah, he stabs himself in onto the Archer. First person is dead and of course it's a more area of effect damage here with the Huntress and that is looking really really good. He delays the expansion by a huge yeah, margin. All the peasants are dead. <laughs> is he surrounded? Does he have a TP? The oh, Demon Hunter? I, yeah, he does. But he's still looking pretty damn healthy and that's gonna, definitely going to be a cancel expo. He's taking a lot of damage though. These moonlights are pretty dry, but again, health fountains. Does he get it? Oh, it's close, man. Oh, it's it's really close. close. It's so close, yes. he's repairing with one peasant that one peasant is saving the day, man. Oh boy, but the expansion is delayed already. There is only yeah one peasant, as you mentioned it, but there's one more Huntress. And can he get the glaze? No, no, no. It's level 3 for the Archmage now as well. Oh my god, that one peasant actually makes all the difference in the world. Just one single peasant. And the moon juice is all gone now. He has to go in there with 100... 30 HP, low light now attacking and expanding at the same time. And the footmen, even though they're low HP, they attack the creeps so that the, the demon hunter can't heal up. But in the end, it still works. He still heals. 
the Lisha duration almost over, so the expansion will finish very, very soon. It's 28 food for the human player, one of the best human players in the world, obviously, versus Law Lyot, the best night elf in Korea. But the tech of TH is incredibly delayed. Yeah, so, so, so delayed. And as we can see in the production tab, Tier 2 on its way for Law Lyot, but on the other hand, his expansion is very, very slow. Maybe he's gonna get Nature's Blessing on Tier 2, but uh, that's not very normal this early in the game. He's going for the Harass again, but the Archmage is leaving his natural. But maybe the self teleportation is ready already for the AM. Go with a little Harass, going for Wisp Hunting. But I think if he notices it, he can always save them into the main gold mine. Here we go, Immolation, but the mana is gone, thanks to the Arcane Tower. Here comes the Town Port, or is it the Staff? We'll see about that. No, it's a town portal. He forced the town portal. There is no TP for Lawlight, only the staff. So he has to try to get the Huntress out. Nice block by TH. Is, is that other Huntress surrounded as well? Yeah, TH is way. making sure. Look at the footman uh, positioning. Oh, there was actually a gap. Never mind. <laughs> He's got might get another peasant here trying to go for it. Oh, He's <laughs> going into the gold mine. He really wants it. He wants it really bad, but he doesn't get it in the end. Taking a lot of damage. Holy crap. And healing from the moon wells would be very, very expensive in terms of mana, and it's just now turning day. This is a big problem. And the ETH is scouting for the expansion here already with the two footmen, and of course waking them up because there is an ogre magi, and you know the berserker, uh, the uh, the bloodlust will be snuffed. In the uh, TH, excuse me, coming in again, trying to cancel the agent of lore, and I would be very surprised if that doesn't happen. 420. Mana, by the way, on the Archmage, blazing it away. Yeah, that's an easy, easy cancel. And I think Law Light is in all sorts of trouble. So much mana on the AM and no more healing available. There's the Panda. He's supposed to save the day. But is it going to be enough? We will see about that. Second Edge No More once again being uh, built one here. He tries to get one up. I don't really know where the second one is, to be honest. Ah, okay. There's, there's only this other one. Demon Hunter in the middle of the map, surprisingly, I wonder why he's not defending his main, would make things easier. He's level 3 now, so the mana burn finally kicks into high gear. But this Ancient of Lore number 2 is also going to be careless. He finds it with a footman, he finishes it off with a water elemental, and he's going for more and more wisp. Nice breath of fire! But those footmen at this point are, well, only footmen, you know, not that valuable anymore. So losing them isn't too big of a deal, and all the time, more and more income is coming in for the Chinese human. And yeah, the expansion is still there. He gets Nature's Blessing now. It's uh, ready for a long, long time, but he's not mining at all. He's going for the hero kill now, trying to chase him away, ch chase the Archmage away, chase TH away, but at the same time, of course, the, uh, he's mining and mining and mining. Blacksmith is coming, tech is halfway done. And the timing push, I'm pretty sure, is going to come fairly soon. And Law Light's extra is much, much later than if we've, for example, seen from Rich against uh, Yaws. And he didn't win that one either. And TH, of course, not a player to be uh, not scared of. Oh, by the way, he's being attacked here. Is it enough damage? No, he's going to get out with a staff. Would have taken like three more attacks, but the demon is in here, and he's a real problem, and he can't really be dealt with right now. In immolation again, but nah, that's not too much. The mana is gone already again, but the panda maybe can creep the natural right now. But he's still busy in the main. Still, the footman so annoying. Only two of them. They are. That's not a lot of damage, but it's enough to cancel the engines of lore. The uh, the archmage has to be very very careful though. There is a, a breath of fire coming, but the lore gets cancelled again. Holy smoke! He has not a single. Okay, there is one engine of lore, all right? And he's making his way up with the expansion to equalize in terms of economy. What the hell? Okay. Here we are. All right. Demon Hunter retreated. Oh, Blood Mage second, by the way. Interesting. Against Night Elf with an Archmage. Yeah, surprise about that one. Now staffing towards his army as a demon hunter, but still low HP, still no moon juice. And Lolite is he's so low in supply, man. And I think TH's tier 2 timing train is soon going to arrive. But now finally the expo is up. Panda, is he gonna get level 3 here? Uh, no, but he's gonna get close. 
meantime, oh, TH lovely. wants to creep the fountain to get closer to level 4, get the level 2 brilliance aura. What item does the panda get here? Ring of protection, very bad. But yeah, the second engine of lore will finally come up. His tier 3 is so late, man. Still not started. But finally, finding some healing here at the fountain. But if he gets both the ogre camps in the middle, and those are good items, that can might be able to turn the tide in his favor. But he's going on the aggressive right now. Before T uh, TH is uh, able to get to that difficult and dangerous timing, he wants to put on some pressure. Loot for TH. It's going to be really nice later on with all the casters, all the water teams that we're about to see. Interesting that he, you know, for the goes for the Blood Mage. He's going to try to get as many uh, water elements as possible. But Lawlight's tech is so delayed that he will probably have a lot of Dryads. So that's an interesting choice. I could possibly see this not working out too well, but of course it's TH. Uh, most of the time he makes the right decisions, we'll see. Right now he's creepjacking the Knight off. He was trying to go for the Ogres, but he's not being given the freedom of just getting them for free. No, definitely the consumable item, one of the strongest in the game. And there are two of them, if you get them both you have a huge advantage. But Low Light at the moment not able to do any damage, not able to get the Panda to a level 3. Getting close, getting ever so close. Defend is not yet ready. When it's ready, he will feel very comfortable fighting this. Before, however, the Dryad slow is uh, kind of annoying. Of course, with the defend, the Dryad starts slowing themselves because the spears reflect. And now the Panda is level 3, the combo is available, and so is the mana for it. 140, looking good. And oh, I think he got it, right? Yeah, he got I it. think he did. He got it with the mana burn kill, and it's only a went of mana stealing. So, not game changing. In most of the cases. <laughs> Tier 3 from the light has started. Level 3 Pandem Brewmaster, we talked about this before. The light immediately going over here to the Ogre Magi. He wants to consumable as well, but TH is well aware that he needs to put out a lot of damage to the Ogre Maggie. He will do that, and it is when of Mana stealing as well. And he's breaking right away, Low Light. Is. Never mind, he cancels it actually. He went into the key for a second. And he's getting good levels. Demon Hunter level 4, Panda level 3. The Blood Mage is the big weakness at the moment, still level 1. And how effective is he really gonna be? He requires a lot of micro, if you put him to good use however, he's really good. But especially it seems in small armies, in huge armies he can also be potent. But how potent in the end? Now Lolite is breaking for real, but TH already up at almost 70. Uh, and Lalai didn't really bank that much, only 300 on his account at the moment. But he's getting ready for, I don't know, tanks or any kind of siege with Engine of War. In the meantime, he wants to distract the human a little more. Attacking the expo and the production facilities. <laughs> and getting a red spot at the same time. This could be huge, for example, if he gets the uh, command aura, that would be so much bonus damage on the mortar teams, man. He already has the flute. And also now level 2 on his Blood Mage. So he's uh, slowly finding his level. So TH not going for the 70 supply dangerous quick push. He's taking his time. Yeah, very Might very even careful. want to expand. Katka's Pipe, usually everyone loves this item. But with a level 4 Art Mage, not really useful at all. And he's going Rifle as well. I think it's just a waste. Okay, of course it's a counter against the mass triads. Yeah, but I think mortar teams are way better. Yeah. I'm surprised about the rifleman as well. Maybe right now he wants to put on as much pressure as he possibly can, but this fits like kind of weird this timing. He could have hit a lot sooner with a better supply of uh, between the two players. He yeah. sees yeah. this and takes a lot of damage immediately. And oh, I love this position for the life. He's standing in between the army and the reinforcements. Really well done by the Korean. Get the first mortar team, maybe ah, getting the breaker as well. Or the second mortar team. That would be such a huge thing for him. Yes. The damage of TH lowered by a lot here. Level three and a half, panda level four, and the quarter demon hunter. Is he getting bears? That's the question. Adept upgrade. Adept only now. And now he's getting master and only one bear. He has so many dryads, no bears. His damage out.
Wow. But uh, and his tankiness uh, is not high at all. So he has 71 supply, yes, but it's not the 71 supply that an idol usually wants to actually have. Uh, TH is investing a lot into riflemen. I don't know if that's the right choice here because the bears will be there in a second. You see the master train upgrade coming. It's only like 15 seconds away, and then the riflemen will be most likely useless. <laughs> so it's only going to have one, it's going to take some time for all those rifles to be up. Yeah, bears, excuse me, to be up. But slowly, you're right, slowly they are coming. Level 3 now for the Blood Mage. It seems like TH has been waiting for this. He's been creeping so much, putting on the pressure only very late. Right now is when he's going to decide, decide to do this. And again, catching off reinforcements with a dry ass. So important. Oh, uh, TH already lost at least three units to the dry but there's still three more teams available. 78 food versus, uh, okay, versus 74 now. He just, he just lost another more team, I think, to the right. And now it's almost even in supply. He's going in. Mana burn to start yeah, things oh, off. Riot yeah. from the right. Beautiful position. And look at the combo. Oh my god, he dispelled the Drunken Ace before the Breath of Fire came in. Absolutely beautiful micro by TH playing out of his mind. But still, these tries are in a perfect position. The flame strike coming in. We didn't even consider this. Of course, the mass AoE, but still, I think no lie is looking. Pretty fine, is he? Yeah, he did it uh, already in some Rust Brain Cabo or whatever, uh, splitting the Dryads away from the Bears. Um, that is really, really good, but he'll scroll the final, he'll scroll the Demon Hunter about to go down. No. Who teleports him away? It's 72 versus 65. The Mortal Teams are all down. That's the biggest threat for the Dryads, but now there are still Riflemen, and the piercing damage is really, really huge. Oh, man. And these Nile, uh, um, excuse me, these human heroes always have mana. The mana burn never seems to get them dry. These two intelligence heroes with the aura as well. And now level 5 Archmage. And maybe it's gonna be a song of fire and ice if he decides to retrain. <laughs> That's true. That's absolutely true. Yeah, but Lolight, I like uh, the, the thing that he tries to do. Split the Dryads away from the bears. Attack the ranged units and the casters with the Dryads. Yeah, it was really good positioning. But in the end, you really want the bears, man. They're just better for their supply costs than the dryads are. Getting the Ogalord solo experience, not really. I think he kind of messed up there. Crystal Ball, well, that's not too great. They're level 4, however, with the Blood Mage anyway. So now level 2 Siphon, level 2 Flame Strike. But again, he's giving Low Light a bit of time to come back here. Who is now attacking the main with a few dryads? I think this is just trying to buy time for more bears. He only has 4, that's not the hugest number ever. One kill scroll though for him. Oh no, that's uh, TH. Invo potion and mana potion for the Nido. But there are so many units, uh, so, so many buildings blocking the way to the town hall. He can never do that. In the meantime, he is attacking the main tree and he has a lot of uh, two water teams. 1 0 and the flame strike. Holy shit, the repair list is all gone. TP from the Light. Uh, Archmage surrounded from the TP, has to get out immediately and he also saving the Dryad to the side, getting only one footman. So <laughs> in the end it looked like a huge fight, but actually no one lost much. The flame strike killed most and it was the Wisps. But the main gold mines are all, almost dry, but the supply, that's the big story here. 78 still a commanding lead for the Chinese player. <coughs> yeah, it's still 2700 gold left in the expo of a TH. And the heroes are not looking that strong. Okay, he's getting close to a level 5 Demon Hunter. But here comes TH again. 1-0. And he has the 2-shot aura, so plus 7 damage. He will not get the Fury Dragons out. It's absolutely relentless. relentless. He's not giving him space anymore to yeah, somehow find some solace and some comeback potential in a little bit of time to himself. And now... Well, light is creeping, but he must know that he's going to lose his main for this. But he has no town portal. Yeah, he's going to lose the main. I guess he thinks he can win this game without the main. I guess losing the tree actually, or the losing the income, isn't too bad because they are going to run dry soon anyways. But he's going to lose the angel of lore as well. And how does he want to uh, win? Excuse me. God damn it! Without those, and also the moon wells. Now he's coming down. Is he level five on the demon? Not quite, but extremely close. Getting the ends in position to defend the rest of his army. Let's take a look. Five bears, seven dryads. Six spellbreakers, three mortar teams. They will do tons and tons of damage. 80 versus 60. What's the heal scroll count on TH? One. One. Two. That's a, that's a problem. 
I think he should get more before he continues fighting for real. He's splitting the dryads again. Yeah, yeah, it's it's so so well, well, a peasant, that's actually going to be level 5. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> okay, but TH realizes this, that the dryads are far, far away and engages. Right, first mana burn comes out, but still so much mana remaining <laughs> for the blood mage. <laughs> to the top there we see the dryads getting rid of the water elementals. Everything is slow, they can't really get rid of the slow. The panda so far away. Dryads again finding the casters, trying to dodge the mortar teams as best as possible. Flame strike coming in, so <laughs> much damage! Panda being siphoned. Panda drunk in haste, Breath of Fire, but he's out of mana already, but he does have a mana potion. Don't forget, first and only heal scroll has now been used, the Blood Mage. The Blood Mage to the side, there is no banish to protect him. There's only Siphon Mana, and he's using it right now, but that means more damage from mana, but invisibility, Whoa! holy crap! The Breath of Fire almost killing him, but THTP's out. Only 48 supply remaining for Law Lyot, but he Turn holds on. Well, it's still a 20 food difference and he wants to go for the attack as well uh, once again he knows of course everything is low now ah, he wants to creep and not attack all right uh, okay now there's only one gold mine so it's nice that law light is under uh, the income and he's supply stock I see how close is the pan up to five pretty close with the murlocs next to his base given level five I don't think so 100 experience maybe not too sure, but Infi uh, TH is getting ready for the next expansion. So the main gold mines are uh, dry. There's only the expansion left, and that's only 900 gold left for Law Lyot. It's yeah. still 3,700. There's still a possibility. I, I think he's just forgetting about the Murlocs right now. It might be level 5 for the pan, and it would be such a huge, huge deal. I'd also like to see him buy anti magic potions so that he can't get slowed that much and also not siphon mana. But Money is the issue here for Law Lyot. Oh, he has been struggling. Just get ready when the Dryads arrive. Unfortunate for Law Lyot. TH is attacking the main again. Uh, he knows those movements are so important. And they are very, very easily killed. With those mortar teams, of course, but is that only one? Yeah. No, no there's a second one coming right now. He has four. Uh, Alright, they're coming a little bit slow, a little bit late to the party, but they do arrive in the end. And the trade is the towers to the top, so no expansion. So, yeah, TH is soon gonna have no more income, so he's gonna be forced to attack the natural, and that's where Lolai wants to make his stand. But again, it's gonna be a huge supply disadvantage. And the flame strike will once again hit so hard. Oh, he's level 5 panda. Okay, but he has no mana potion. There's no shop, he's trying to rebuild the moon wells here. And uh, he, he, can't, he can't get the anti magic potion because he's tier 1. And no portion of mana. Oh, that's a problem. Archmage also so close to level 6. Yeah, Master of Rotation would be a blessing. Also very, very close to being level 5 with the Blood Mage. That would mean level 3 uh, Flame Strike. So much area of effect with the mortal teams together. Demon Hunter is diving in. It's only 54 versus 80. Oh, the mortal teams are not the best position ever. They're kind of exposed here. In, in will very, very quickly use, but the Panda, he is exposed. Oh, the next Flame Strike. Oh my god. God, all the damage, the Breath of Fire doesn't hit anything, level 6 for the Archmage, he just gets out, he takes a few bears with him, gets out and says, alright, see you in half a minute. I think the only chance for Law Lion is now the double ultimate, Metamorphosis and Earth, Storm and Fire, but economy wise he has the upper hand, the expansion is down, he can only do long distance mining now because he has not enough gold for an expansion. And here we go again, flame strike, holy smoke, that was the second to last there, and the last one's gonna fall soonish, he might try to go for a hero, but look at all of this army, how can he possibly chew through all of it, I don't know that is possible, Staff saves the demon hunter, but only one dryad remaining, that's his entire army, two heroes and one dryad against what is this, like 70 supply, he may have no more income, but TH doesn't care, he knows it's enough what he has, and he's trying to finish off the game. Is there some miracle possible uh, here? More than two times the supply for TH, and that's it! No healing anymore on the Demon Hunter. That's the 1 0 for the Chinese. But we all are looking forward to a map where Law Lyot can unveil his warden. So let's, let's take a second to think about this. There's Last Refuge, not a good warden map. Terrana Stand, amazing warden map, probably vetoed. Echo, also a pretty good warden map. And we have the Turok, bad warden map. Twisted, pretty good I would say. 
and we already had uh, the map? <laughs> Secret Valley. Mm -hmm. I'm forgetting. Ancient Isles. You could play one. Well. Yeah, yeah, could also. Play. Is the map? Serena, of, of course. Of co okay, not of course because yeah, he thought it would be vetoed, but. Um, but we're in the game. Maybe he doesn't know yet what map it is. So maybe it's not this map, but just uh, possible. Apparently, no. apparently it is this map. Go, 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 go they Terrain stand. I'm surprised TH let this game, uh, this map through. Maybe he has a certain plan in mind. We'll see about that. This is map number two of TH versus uh, Law Lion. It's the vice champion of Korea versus uh, the bronze medalist of the Chinese Pro Qualifier. It's the Master of the Warden versus one of the best players ah, right. of okay. all time. 2014 was not the year of TH. He was eliminated in the first round um, at WEC and in the second round of WCA. But he's, uh, he, I think he wants uh, to win this championship now and yeah, make a name for himself and uh, climb up the prize of uh, that round. I would say so far this tournament, TH and Yumiko. Those are the two players that have been most impressive. Maybe fly as well, and I would say rather those two humans. And the human OOO is on his way to a perfect tournament up to this point. He has not yet dropped a single map, which is starting to get a little bit crazy and a little bit scary. <laughs> but if there's ever been a map for a warden, it is Tyrannus Stand, and we're gonna be revealing it in just a second. There she is. There we go. All right, there we go. That's what we're gonna see. Ah. That's what we wanna oh. see Lolai play and play to the fullest. Because there's basically no one else in the world that can play the way he does. He is the best at it. Like oh, Christ, is the best at Love Age. And I have been looking forward to this for such a long time. I, sh I hope she gets off to a good start. Does Infi uh, TH have yet. We've been waiting for this since Jera Cup 31. That is 12 weeks ago. That is three months ago. And we've been talking about this exact scenario for, for, such, for three months now. It's so Crazy, that it finally uh, happens. Uh, Reprisal, he did uh, find a few answers every now and then. Not always. Sometimes the warden wrecked him. But sometimes he hit a very, very crisp early timing when the warden was level 4 at the most. And yeah, she used Shadow Strike and yeah, she killed units, but she couldn't dominate the entire game. Is TH as well going to go for such an early crisp timing? On Secret Valley, he showed quite a bit of uh, hesitation. Is he going to do it again? I think he. I think he shouldn't. I think it would be dangerous to be hesitant against the warden. The immediate expansion creep by a TH here. So uh, he will take heavy damage and he will invest a lot into the infrastructure and the warden will have a very, very fast level. Oh boy! <laughs> Finding the best item possible, the rune bracers and losing a peasant to creeps. That's something we can only very rarely hear about TH. And the warden's not even level 2 and still... Never mind. And there is level 2 immediately. And I wonder if he goes for blink right, right away. Uh, he hasn't skilled it yet, it seems like. But getting two more peasants with two fans of knives, he got three units, that's a good little thing right there. There's also an Ancient of War at his end. Natural, or is it an expansion? I think it's an Ancient of War, yeah. He's gonna use that to creep and probably set up an expansion afterwards. Because he's not teching just yet. Okay, he delayed the expansion a bit with this one uh, go. So it's time now to get to level 3 as fast as possible. Or is he going for the arrest? I don't think he can hope to accomplish too much by pressuring over and over and over again. I think he has to counter expand. But TH, he is so good with his positional play around the map. I would be very surprised if he doesn't cancel it at least like once or even twice. We'll see. The winner will face uh, the winner of Infi versus Fly. We are not so sure uh, how it looks there, but it's okay. Warden level two and a half. Will she get level three here? Probably? Yeah. Okay. If he doesn't deny the stuff, he gets level three. Okay, expansion on the way. 
Archmage is creeping at the same time as well, of course, with the natural creep camp. You get the expo very fast, but the creeping or the level is not as quick. Oh, he actually doesn't get level 3. He's uh, millimeters away. Four degrees away. Archmage, though, is level 3 now. But the Lyria's loot, also good item for the Warden, uh, for uh, the lineup, but he sold it immediately, changing it for the staff and getting the level 3 now. And that's the time where the Warden gets kinda dangerous, level 4 she gets really dangerous, and at level 5 she's just a fucking monster. Yeah, and it gets funnier and funnier the further he she levels. It's well, depends on <laughs> which side you are. Yeah, well, for watching, I think it's always good. And now he's stepping in towards <laughs> the main base, that's and there's no tower here. Yes. Oh, big mistake by TH. Let's watch. There's only five seconds. Exodus, he's trying to get as many kills with the militia as he can. Bam, cooldown is off. Here we go again. There's more where that one came from. He's hiding, so he can't get any damage because there's no reveal. TH needs to mine the way quickly, and that's what he's doing. He's going to lose one. No, what's he doing? He's moving them back in again. What? Where's the of nice? Trying to find the perfect position. Here we go. Two dead. Yeah. And siding again. It's not too big of a deal, but he's keeping the human busy. But yeah, the Archmage, I told, said it before. His positioning is so good. I think there was an expansion on the way there, or at least planned. And now the Archmage is staffing back. Does he get the tower though? Yes, he does. But there's no more mana for. The fan of knives, Blink, gets into safety. Ooh, really, really uh, careful. He has to be with the warden now. And the leveling is not that fast. He could have been on Aqua Out, for example. The expansion is still up. Uh, what's the production saying? Okay, he's kind of late with the Hunter's Hall. Tier 2 is almost finished. TH not e uh, has not even started his tech. But with losing that tower in the main, Taking in the main base is so dangerous. Yeah. If a warden goes in there and starts killing peasants, you can't reproduce him, it slows you down by so much. So he didn't kill too many peasants, but getting the tower, I think, in and of itself is already pretty nice. If there's a whistle, you can always step there, but he sees the Archmage, he's coming to harass the Night Elf's main base, and maybe that's uh, the best thing that he can do keep the warden busy. Simultaneously, a couple of militia. That's pretty dangerous, man. The warden fan of knives, of course, now even stronger. Getting a shredder as well as the allies, so it most likely means an expo. I mean, what does he need all that lumber for, anyways? Or maybe for defensive purposes? But if he gets an expo now, it's so incredibly late. Wisp again, and staff again, I would imagine. Yeah, that's uh, pretty certain. Oh, Here we go. And everything is damaged. Fan of knives, come on! Double kill! And the triple kill will follow. What is TH's reaction? He's trying to get the lores again. And I think the shredder was just for defensive purposes. He's supposed to help him hold his base. And now there's no more income here. But he has a lot of issues in his main. The shredder is being attacked. The shredder is being microed away. And he's buying time right now for the Korean. But still, if he loses it, it's so, so expensive. He doesn't want to lose, but he's going to. Is that worth it? The warden trying to go for the peasants. They have been moved out. She doesn't have any man anymore. I think she has to go back home. Law Light is down to 12 food. 12. <laughs> the hero and seven wisps. It's ridiculous. Uh, oh, it's looking not good for the warden. She TP'd back right now, but there's no mana, there's no moon juice. There's clarities, using clarity and man's mana stone right now. But no, nice shadow mill not being cancelled. Shadow mill during the moonstone time. More wisps, because they all got killed by TH. God, and he's so low in lumber, he can't expand, he can't attack, he can't get a second hero. Well, he doesn't want that anyways. But yeah, mana oh, potion on the warden. He doesn't get the footman either. Look at the block. He could use the blink, but he doesn't want to. He wants to get the footman. Just the usual chasing way. And he's gonna get it, but it takes so long. It takes him so long. Almost level 4 now. But so many footmen. Holy Christ. Yeah, it's really crazy. Oh. Yeah, of course, very weak against Fan of Knives, but it's only level 2 so far. And she doesn't have infinite mana. Without level 5, the warden is not that good, and there is a Panda and Brewmaster. He feels pressured. He feels too pressured, he doesn't think he can do it with the warden alone anymore. Now, double AoE coming in. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Level 4 for the warden. And the Zeppelin is coming in, maybe a little too late. Nice detonates, getting rid of all of the mana of the Archmage and both water elementals. Very good, good leveling. The Panda and Brewmaster almost level 2. But the warden has to be careful, but a slow shadow strike. But another fan of knives, but the Zeppelin. Saving three footmen at a time. The warden is not going to die, but he has to invest more gold. 
Darkmage is staffing out. TH lost a lot there, but he kept also his opponent busy, and more importantly, he gets time inside his main to get towers. I hope he finally got towers inside his main. He's attacking at the match, but that's also a good move. And yeah, towers are coming in the main. Second tower and a shredder. TH has been slowed down by a lot, but look at Lollite, man. He's at 22 out of 20. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, he has been wrecked so hard. He's trying to go for the econo economic damage again. Panda and Warden. AoE is his plan in this game. Work, but of course, this panda slows down the leveling of the Warden. Usually if you're at tier 2 with a single hero, you get bonus experience for your hero, but uh, if you play two heroes, that bonus experience falls flat. And it's double Arcan Sanctum, and Zeppelin coming with an Archmage probably again, yeah. TH, it seems like he has found the answer to the Warden. Just attack the main, like all the time, and don't give her too much time, and you know, most importantly, don't let him expand. He cancelled the expansion very early on in the Arctic and the staff. Didn't get distracted by the damage. The air was about to come, but... Uh, oh, the Zeppelin. The Zeppelin is of course an answer. If you're as good as TH, you can save them over and over and over again. Yeah. 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 17 number. And TH, being the high level player that he is, knows exactly where the weakness is, and that is the number. He's killing the number with over and over. He even has a regeneration scroll with him that he can use inside the Zeppelin. That was the second one. He came there with, on, with one already. And yeah, that's. That's, mis that's kind of perfect play. I, I, I hate to say it, it's sad to see for low light, but it is kind of perfect play. So I don't want to be in in peace and buy skin. Hey, skin. Uh, 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 I know of trouble, double AoE again. But don't forget about the Zeppelin. That's right, you can't kill my stuff. Oh, that goes too good. He's saving every single unit he TPs out of the way. He loses a single thing, doesn't even lose the Zeppelin, the Breath of Fire. Oh, he actually lost the Zeppelin. He lost the Zeppelin by the town portal. He pulled it, and uh, okay, there's still the Mountain King. Zero experience, no multi tanks in here, but he's getting breakers now. He's getting the upgrades, he's getting water teams on the side of Lola. Lola, we have only a few dryads. And this is looking absolutely horrendous. For the Korean. I don't know how he's supposed to win this, but he needs to find a way. The push is soon to come. TH's production, you can see it right there. He has uh, riflemen and more teams and sorceresses and upgrades in the pipeline. And he's gonna be hitting really hard really soon, and there is no level 5 ward in here in time. <laughs> Not at all. But, uh, of course, economy wise. It's not that bad for Lollaid, but of course the age still oh, has the upper hand. He's finding the Archmage now, but there is a stab, so he's not in danger. Again, the Dryad positioning on the map, really good by Lollaid, like exceptionally good. But against TH, you need more than just one amazing thing. You need many <laughs> to defeat that guy. MK finding his levels now, slowly. This is only level 2, so he is not too dangerous just yet. Maybe, you know, it's a lot of supply, but it's a lot of footmen. And it's a lot of footmen against mass AoE. Maybe that's his good Coming in right away with a double AoE right here. Blinking away. But it's of course only level 2 blink. Not level 3 where it's uh, almost infinite blinking. And fly, we get right here uh, some information from the side. 1 against Infi, 2 to 0. Wow, that was fast. And Infi... Uh, some people said that he thinks uh, Fly is easy to beat, 
And that orc, uh, well, we know orc is a good matchup. Yeah. But that anyways, not the case. Fly wins 2-0, but we are right here in TH versus Lawli, and yeah, you can see it yourselves. It's looking fantastic for TH right now. He's up at 80 supply versus 43. It's almost painful to say, but it is the reality here on Tyrion. Yeah, Fanta talked about this. Zero chance that uh, Law Light will win a map against TH, and he was right. He was absolutely right so far. Once again, he needs a miracle. Like the biggest miracle in Warcraft history, maybe. Alright, TH positioning himself. More teams slightly, slightly out of position, but not by much. Bolt coming in, focus coming in, but now the Warden with a blink, fan of knives, dealing a little bit of damage, but not anything critical, it doesn't seem. The bash! <laughs> of course. Seals the fate of the Dryad. And by the way, you saw the mortar team shots hitting in front of the Dryad. That may have been a manual micro to anticipate the movement of the Dryad. I would not be surprised if yeah, TH actually did that. So he wants to kill the base, of course, Law Lion fighting like a lion. But that's all he has here. Seven Dryads and a few Wisps, plus the heroes, obviously. Splitting into two groups right now. Panda with a few Dryads and Warden with a few Dryads. Just trying to get reinforcements, but TH is sticking as one big clump. And right now Wisps are coming in for mass detonation. Wanting to get rid of the man of the casters and the MK, but not really hitting too much if we're being honest. Finally, one mortar team dies and he's nicely spreading the attention of the human actually. That's true, but it's still 77 versus 48. The hero levels don't look too good as well. It's 4-2, uh, it's pretty equal for both players here. And the Shredder is joining the party as well. TH has more than enough lumber for the rest of this game, most likely anyways. And he's kind of being uh, drawn from one side to the other, but he's not really losing anything in return. Is he supply stack? Yeah. He needs more moon wells, he's building them right now, so he has to wait until he can start producing. I think TH wants to end this right now, he's pulling the shredder, he has a lot of mod teams, Breath of Fire, but it's only level 1. Uh, Warden comes in, fan of knives, but it's not enough, there are a lot of heal scrolls, Fender and Brewmaster might be in trouble, he's getting rid of the shredder, that's important. And trying to dodge the ball, it didn't quite work, she's coming in right now again, she has quite a bit of mana, the Warden does. And the panda also fan of knives, Breath of Fire, we see both coming in. And slowly but surely he's taking damage, but the panda, the panda dies! Level 3 for the MK, where the ball is not coming, the warden has blinked away. Yeah. But still, not even level 5 the warden is, and she, she should have reached that such a long time ago. Yeah, level 4 and a half, the fan of knives not strong enough. And only the blinking now. <laughs> There's even towers, even towers yeah, to make sure he will never expand there. Oh, is there gonna be a ball? There is! Pretty late, but he doesn't really need to be that on point anymore with this micro. We can see the numbers. 37 supply only against something like 80. Another fan of nice dealing decent damage, but even the inverse is being used, and that's a GG! That's it! TH looking like a world champion, pretty much. No really mistakes. Good. Really good, still clean sheet. Still, he's 8-0 now. Of course, his group was not the hardest. Like he didn't have to fight other Chinese players or the big Koreans, but still, focus on yours, always capable of taking a map, but not from this guy. Okay, so maybe it's Yumiko and TH after day two who are the big favorites. I would say so. And let's update the brackets here real quick. Do you want me to tell the audience the, what happened between the UV and the flag? Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. We need to get closer. Okay. I guess talk to them. Yeah. Our uh, dear uh, friend Cody here is going to tell you what happened with TH versus Envy. Okay. Take a seat. Okay. Uh, hello, guys. Uh, I'm Sinus from China. I'm actually in China is really really dry, so you can see my lips is quite dry. And in addition, I just come back from the game between Fly and. Uh, in feet and in the, on the first game it, uh, they played on the secret valley um Infi lost his lost his level two ultimate at the beginning of the game <laughs> so it's a very quite big mistake that Infi made so Infi lost his uh, lost the first game and the second game which Infi chose his loser map is icon isis uh, that was that was a very big surprise that Oh, there, Infi might have some 
strategies, different strategies. So Flytus, they he start the he start the game with two bios and that he can have more grounds. Actually, he's right. If he did a did a very early a very early expansion at the beginning, uh, when the Artemis first came out, the the militias and footmans come to the expansion point. Just he just want to do the expansion, and Fly he <laughs> he has just a genius that he can predict that that kind of things. So Fly got a two game swing. So that's nice. it. So it seems like uh, pretty easy wins for Fly. Yeah, uh, the total the, the total of the game length is like twenty minutes. <laughs> oh, wow. okay. Yeah, these guys uh, like to play their games rather short. We all remember the WCG final, obviously. So tomorrow we need to start the dream stream the uh, winner winner group rock until the until they can have the 